Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm doing a voiceover for my pour. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing a multi dirty cup pours on this canvas. I already have my uh, base coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. All my paints today were mixed with seven parts mix and one part paint and I did use water to thin them for consistency. Here I am just uh, doing my first pour. Colors are just beautiful. I will list my colors in the description box. So make sure you go there to check it out. I'm really playing on the blues today. A lot of blues in my painting and I do have a gold in there along with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I did make up my own navy color, which is a combination of uh, the, let's see, the Amsterdam Prussian Blue, uh, Liquitex Basics Green Deep, and then a, just a little blob of black, just to make that really deep navy blue color. And there I just used my skewer to fix up the middle of that little pour I did there. That's always a good hint. If you don't like your finished uh, part in the middle, you can just take your skewer and fix it. Here I'm taking a second cup that I had filled and just pouring again. You can see some of the gold coming out on this pour. I did fill a total of three cups. And I felt at this point I wasn't going to need that third cup. But it, you'll see coming up that I eventually do use that. I really like using the mix. It has such a great transparency to allow a lot of different layers of paint to show through. And here again is that third little circle that I'm pouring there. On this one, a lot of the white came through. And again, I'm going to use my skewer just to fix that in the middle there. It's better to fix it before you tip it. Just giving it a quick torch here. before I start the tipping process. And that, that deep, deep navy I made almost looks black, and I really like that contrast. And that will come through later on in, in the tipping process. You're going to see that. I like to take my time with my tipping, trying to be um, aware of what I like on the canvas so I don't tip it off. And here I decide that I'm going to add some more of that Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White just to help the paint move. Because I do like that dark that dark navy on that edge there. I didn't want to lose that. And if I wouldn't have put the white down, that paint would have just rolled right over the top of that. Whereas when you put the paint down, then that will help glide that paint to the edge instead of rolling over on itself. Most of these paints were mixed up yesterday, but um, I did mix one, one of the paints just before I started pouring. And thus you can see after I did torch all the little white spots coming up, I do think that's from that paint not sitting and letting the air bubbles come up. Here I'm just tipping to that edge. And... 
I do decide that I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and use it as an edge catcher. In, in that way, you're not really losing paint on your edge. You're just like pushing it back up onto the painting as, as I demonstrate here. That little cardboard is just, um, I save what comes with my packages of canvases and I use that for my edge catcher. And again, I'm gonna use it down on this edge just to catch that paint and bring it back onto the canvas. You can already see some of the nice effects that the mix is giving there. And I'm just continuing the tipping process here. <clears throat> I'm gonna tip a little bit of that paint off, I believe. Yep. Yeah. I just want to get some of that paint off. Just going to do a little bit more tipping here. And I actually am bringing that over the edge there. And I'm just going to take a look at it. See what I have going on here. And I do believe this at this point is where I just, I made up another little cup of a couple different colors. And I think I'm going to just uh, make another little puddle here on the canvas. Because I, th I think that part of it I just felt was just too plain and needed to just uh, spruce it up a little bit with more color. And that's what I'm doing right here. I think I only used three colors in that. I used the really dark navy, the white, and then a medium blue. I think it was called grayish blue from Amsterdam. And a lot of the white did show through there, which was I was happy about. Again, using my skewer just to fix that little middle part. Now I'm going to start tipping with that new pour on there. Just to see how that's going to impact the painting as a whole. You can see that paint is running quite fast, so I do have a lot of paint on my canvas. Just trying to stretch it out. I've found that the more I stretch with using the mix, 
the better effects I get, the more transparency you're going to see between layers of paint. Now I'm taking another look at it here. This is where I decide I'm going to use that last cup of paint. And I'm going to divide it into a couple little um, puddles. And here I'm going back to that same puddle just to see if I can give it a little bit more color there in the middle. And nope, I changed my mind. Making just a third little puddle there. Again, fixing the middle. Giving it a quick little torch here. Since I've added so much new paint to it. And I do go back with a little cup just to add a little something to the middle of that circle there. I think I had um, some nice paint left in the bottom of that cup. And now I really do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. And thus I can afford to really do a lot of tipping and run some of that paint off. And by the way, I did not waste the paint that ran off. I did, after the video was all finished, I just, I couldn't bear just to waste it. So I did scoop it up into a cup and I will probably use it for a base coat for a painting coming up in the future. These multi-dirty um, cup pours are a lot of fun. Here I'm pretty much going to run that corner right off because I, I didn't really care for it that much. And now my thought process is I have a little bit too much of that white showing in that top corner. So I eventually will want to run some of that off too. Just taking a look at it here again, deciding what can I afford to run off. And I am going to try and stretch out that the dark, dark circle there with the blue around it and run off some of the white. I 
some of those effects coming through now from the mix are really, really pretty. I think I saw something in my paint that didn't belong. And it is better to get it out right away because it will affect how your um, stretching will look if you have something in there that doesn't move along with the paint. And here too, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, running off a lot of that corner there. Again, I really didn't care for that, that corner at all. I'm really twisting the one circle there that I made around quite a bit. And now again, I'm feeling like I need to run off some of that white just a little bit more than I care for. Okay, and as you can see, I'm really stretching this out. Stretching the lines and the circles just to get it the way that I like it. I'm trying to always be mindful that you can see what I'm working with on the canvas keep it in camera whenever possible. Sometimes the bigger canvases, like this is a 16 by 20, it's, it's kind of hard to keep everything in camera when you're doing that much tipping. Again, I see something in there that doesn't belong. And you can just see now the beautiful effects coming through. And I think I'm trying to just point out some of the areas that I really liked. The upper right corner I really like. Just doing a little bit more tipping down on that edge there. Just to stretch it out a little bit more. Paint is moving slower now, which is good. Now I'm bringing it back. I'm really happy with these colors. They seem to really play well with each other. Okay, I'm just taking another look at it here. One last torch.
I'd like to take this time to say thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers. I really do appreciate your support. Um, I really have enjoyed reading the comments that those of you that have been leaving comments. And if you'd ever like to see a certain pour done, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Here I'm taking the palette knife and I'm just cleaning off the bottom edges. Get all the excess paint off so it doesn't drag on the paint that's on top of the canvas. Trying to do it very carefully so I don't drip paint onto the top of the canvas. And this is where the areas I'm showing you I really like. And I think I'm going to get you down for a close-up here now. Touching up a little edge, a little corner there. And here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And we're just going to go down the left-hand side here. And I'll point out the areas I really like. Pretty in here. You can see that deep navy against that white and in the gray color. Beautiful. Lower right-hand corner. I'm going to take you all over this canvas. And this is one of my favorite spots in here. You can see how the, the mix is allowing all these different layers to show through. This is another pretty area. And I do like it in here. And this is the, let's see, we're going back up. Very pretty in there. Some of the gold did come through. This is the upper right-hand corner here. And now we're just going down the right-hand side. So let me know what you think. This is the lower right corner and it's very pretty here too let me know what you think of my video give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time i do post a new video and until next time take care everybody bye for now